Well, today we're going to dyno this 2023 Husqvarna TE150i. I don't trust much of the dyno information that I get out of there, you know, get on the, the site. A few reasons are things a lot of times will run different in fourth gear or fifth gear or sixth gear. Things like these, they actually are kind of hard to pick up the RPM on because there's a lot of um, split signals going on now. Uh, different ignition signals. It, it's hard to pick things up. It's also kind of hard to pick things up um, like off this injector pulse because you have two different injectors and they do kind of skip around. So I use what's called calculated RPM where I, base, I do hook up uh, an RPM gauge to it but that doesn't feed the information to the dyno. And bas Basically I run the bike in like fourth gear or fifth gear and I know that at 50 miles an hour you know this thing's spinning whatever it is, 6,000 RPM, and then I go in there and I calculate the RPM using that feature on the dyno. Of course that's gonna change though in fourth gear over fifth gear because it's calculated at fifth. It's also gonna change if I go, if I just use speed um, because it'll go faster in fifth than fourth. So either way you go, you're gonna get different dyno charts without a really good way to pick up the RPM on these dynos and a lot of people might do that. So it's good to know what gear it's actually running. It's also good to know what the actual air fuel ratio is. I think that's so important to not pull the wool over your eyes with things. A lot of times you can really lean things up and really gain some top, but you wouldn't be able to ride it that way on the track. It would be way too lean. Um, a lot of times you might make a power shift, but it might really lean or rich out. You might lose power. But with the air fuel ratio, you go, okay, I could, I could fix this now and get it back. So uh, before we run, though, I, I do have to show you the dyno discrepancies on the Google search for a, a 2023 KTM 450 SXF and just the vast array of numbers that are out there. So you can kind of understand, um, if I put a number out, don't call banging on me that your stuff is too high, your stuff is too low. Why is your stuff here and another stuff here? I will explain that to you in another video, what a lot of the discrepancies will be, but some of this running will help you, you know, kind of understand that. So let's go look really fast and then I'll shut up and run. So hopefully you can see this. I just typed it in 2023 450 SXF. How much horsepower does it have? First thing that comes up from Dirt Rider Magazine right? A huge popular publication that you should be able to trust. 54.3. Watercross Action, another huge publication you should be able to trust. They say 59.85. This guy says 63. This says 63. 63, this place says 68. So, tough one, huh? 15 between 68 and 53. So you can see where the issues lie. What, what a huge discrepancy there, right? So just keep that in mind. All this stuff is good for is this bike, this dyno, our modifications that we made, the gain between the baseline. Well, whether that is or isn't what you want to see, that's what reality is. There's a huge difference between fourth gear and fifth gear there because I said before we calculated the RPM based on speed and of course the rear tire is running faster in fifth gear than it was in fourth. So it's going to go out further. Now fifth gear is the one that we did calculate our RPM in so the thing revs out to about 10.5 before it peters out and fourth gear should have been the same if we calculated it that way. 
It still would have had the different shapes. It's interesting to see that it makes more power in fifth, then fourth. That's true no matter how many times I went back and forth with the doing it of it. That always held true. The shapes are different because of the rate that the power valve opens. When, you get, when you're wide open like that, it blows faster through the, R, uh, through the RPMs in fourth gear than it does in fifth gear, and your power valve is an RPM-based opening device on these bikes still because it's mechanical. So you see a nice smooth shape there, and that's why you see the dip in the fifth gear one. Power valves hold on, hold on, hold on, and then finally springs to life. So maybe with a different spring, maybe with a different adjustment of power valve, we could do all kinds of things there. Your air fuel is really nice at 13 to one all the way through, and that's wide open. They are blubbering crappy on the bottom. They do have a lot of improvement in these bikes. They are little turds. They really are underpowered. There's huge potential in these things. So that's what we're gonna unlock next, but we've got our baseline. So appreciate you watching, and let's get to work, man.